Okay, well there's the difference between the, the 6mm uh, ball bearing and the 4.5mm ball bearing. As although it's only 1.5mm bigger, you, you can see it makes a huge difference when you put them next to each other. Now the law varies obviously in each country, they've all got their own like rules and regulations which it's always wise to stay within the rules. Um, and for some reason the smaller bowls, the, the 4.5mm, they, they're not allowed to sell, or they don't seem to sell them that fire fully automatic. But the bigger ones, the 6mm, they you, you can buy airsoft guns that fire fully auto. So they obviously feel that the, the bigger balls are not as um, powerful as the smaller ones. But I have fired um, in single shot the 4.5mm and that's punched the hole straight through a beer can. We've got some beer cans here. I took the liberty of buying a crate of this Spain's most disgusting beer yesterday and uh, I fired a 6mm at it and it went straight in, straight out the other side and exploded. It was a bit too dark to film but um, I went for it last night anyway and just had a, had a pre-look. In fact I'll take you outside and I'll show you the can and I'm going to repeat the experiment in daylight. Obviously you can see better in daylight. My targets arrived, I got a bag of targets so I've been round the floor picking up the bowls this morning. There's the can. This is the can that I shot last night and you can see quite clearly there's a, an en entry point there and an exit point on the back there. And that was with the broom handle Mauser, the 6mm steel ball bearing straight through. Boom. And it was from the door. I fired it from the door. This is the length of the yard, not very far. And it was a direct hit because I faced it forwards. So I will see how uh, we get on today. I'll shoot it a few more times just to prove to you that an airsoft with a steel ball bearing will penetrate and go right through a beer can. And then I'm going to get some targets out and uh, we're going to use plastic and, B and steel BB. The steel BBs are more expensive. Um, but we're going to see how good a grouping we can get on the target in fully auto because we've got two seconds and it's out of ammunition so it's important so we'll start relatively close to the target until we get a decent grouping and then we'll we'll slowly back up down the yard and then fire again and then again keep backing up all the way to the door and uh, if necessary we can go all the way into the kitchen to take the shots but I'm not anticipating being able to get a really tight grouping on full also at any considerable range but the um, the steel ones are more accurate for sure the, uh, the, 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 the plastic ones are lighter and are more prone to drifting off the target uh, but we'll, we'll work out a decent range where the, 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 uh, the gun is effective and we can uh, we can keep all 20 shots. I'm only going to fire one magazine at one target and then we'll see how effective. And I'm not going to cheat and, and use the same target twice. I'm just going to keep it. See this this is one I, I just this is just the first one I pulled out yesterday. I don't know if you can see that. I just had a clean cast it. We got it up to the sky. So it's quite an accurate gun. And I, a lot of the time I find when I'm shooting this thing. I, I, I just open both eyes and shoot and see because you can see where the, uh, the balls are going and you can adjust accordingly. I'm not just using one eye and the sights all the time. So we'll take it from there and see how we get on. Well, it definitely uses a lot less gas on single shot, a lot less. Um, I just flicked it into full auto there and just drained the cylinder. And uh, yeah, 
I'm really impressed with it. Honestly, I've never thought Airsoft would be this good. See, well and truly riddled. Riddled with holes. So, no problem whatsoever. I don't know what happened to the top there. No problem whatsoever. So I'm, I'm going to go right back into the kitchen now and try that again. That's a more considerable range. Entry wound and exit split. Yeah. Gas. Right, well, may as well just finish off the uh, the empty cans. I'm getting low on steel ball bearings now, so I have ordered some more on Amazon and. Um, I'm going to have to go around the garden finding them, picking them up. The, the, the danger with using the second hand ones, of course, is uh, they get a bit of dirt in the barrel. 